Timber Tantrum is a game that had a pretty decent and original idea. You play as a baby who's, well, having a temper tantrum, and your only objective is to destroy everything in sight. While such an idea could have produced a fun time, as admittedly destroying an entire home with a small child sounds fun, all Temper Tantrum managed to do is waste my time. As you boot up Temper Tantrum, you are treated to a fairly decent looking game. Nothing special, however, you can see the thing nailed what the developers were going for. The whole game world is colorful and vibrant, and everything is bigger than you. It's like you're really seeing out of the toddler's eyes. However, that really is the only positive remark I can give Temper Tantrum. The second you start moving, the entire experience goes from a colorful and hopeful to awful, and then even worse. Your baby moves at about a million miles an hour, which in itself might not be a bad thing. However, it feels like you're roller skating on ice. Everything feels slippery, and you have very little control. To make matters worse, this is possibly the worst camera in a game I have ever seen. While moving around, you have zero control of your camera. It is supposed to follow you, however, all it does is jerk around and not do anything, except for clip through walls. It does that quite a lot. The camera moves around so sporadically that it was actually causing me to get a little sick to my stomach. Lastly, the music, oh my goodness, the music is very annoying and repetitive. The first time you hear the track, you know, it's nothing special, but it's fine. It fits the theme as it's light and kind of playful, however, the same song is on loop forever, and it gets super annoying. Overall, Temper Tantrum is a game that had a great concept to it, and while the visuals were charming, the rest of the game was awful and left me wanting to smash everything in sight. This is why Temper Tantrum gets an F. This has been Andrew Holmes for Ubercrit.com, and thanks for watching.